See that? That's how I get those shots, in case you were wondering. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I just had an idea. Who here is curious about how fast food works behind the counter? Let's see how to make a pizza. I mean, I wasn't already here. Man, I am starving. But isn't fast food just so fascinating? They have like such a fast and meticulous process about getting everything done. The food is just so unhealthy though. Mm. Annette's favorite drink is the ice white chocolate mocha with oat milk. Let's get it ready. And it's ready. Yeah, we got it going. Oh, I can't wait to taste this, but I don't think I'm going to drink this coffee tonight. Oh, baby, I'm home. I got chicken. Where the heck are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I got coffee. When you just need a little spice in your life, all you need is some spicy chicken. I got my mac and cheese that was $3. Friggin' robbing me. Look at how perfectly that came out of. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and then we got this big old piece of suck of chicken yes. Grab this huge thing. These are big pieces of chicken. That's a nice glazed biscuit. Honey is so good. Like, it's so thick and it's so sweet. I love the viscosity of honey. We're gonna watch The Serco on Netflix. I like reality TV. It's dumb. Are you saying my channel is dumb? I'm basically reality TV. It's because it's not dumb. The reason I love reality TV is because you see a lot of the psychology of people and how they work. I don't know, because I really enjoy watching people, even though it, it is trashy sometimes, just trashy. At the same time, you still get all of that when you're watching that, so. She's a big people reader. It's something that's a little bit out of my nature. It's a skill I feel I have to learn, and some people are just born with it. And not necessarily to be like manipulative, but I guess just to know how to approach people when they want to be approached. And just like with every skill, there are some that are just naturals, and others where it's a learned behavior. So like everything else, there's always a learning curve. And what I'm trying to figure out right now is how I can set up everything so that I can game and record and maybe even stream. And I've gotten nowhere within these last few minutes, which is like 120. By the time I actually get everything figured out, I'm gonna take a test run. So if anything, I've been successful in setting up at least the switch so that it's pretty consistent here. The reason that I'm trying all this out is so that in the event that I want to game with somebody that I can record it properly, record the phone conversation, and then, you know, still game. Oh, damn it. Okay. So I just went from like zero to a hundred real quick. All right. As you can tell, oh man, I was looking at myself. I was looking way too good on that camera. I had to look at myself, especially with my knee up and everything. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Gaming and setting all this crap up is really hard. So to anybody that goes through the trouble to do this all the time, props to you, brother or sister. 
It's uh, or if you don't identify at all. Thanks everybody for joining me for this segment. I know it's different. It's not the standard material that I've been creating for like the past couple of weeks, but I mainly wanted to do this and give this a trial run so that I can interact with my family and friends, even if they can't be here in person. That type of interaction is so important to me and what keeps me motivated to creating content. I've watched a lot of YouTubers and they all say, they all say that you have to niche down whenever it comes to creating your YouTube content. But I just have a really, really hard time grasping that and accepting that. We're all very unique individuals and we all have our own likes. And it sucks whenever we're forced to narrow down our creativity so that we can be successful in that aspect. Personally, I'm just trying to grow myself and I'm trying to have fun through this process to really prevent any kind of future burnout. And so for me, it's important that I continue to do the things that I want. And gaming is a part of it. I don't want to get stuck and be forced to only work in one area. I hope you enjoy and I hope you welcome this. Let me know if you like this kind of content or if you want similar kind of content. I'm definitely open to hearing more of your opinions. Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe for more content. Uh, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and we'll keep in touch. Peace out.